Hey guys, welcome to another favorites video. This is gonna be everything that I loved in the month of July. My June favorites video came a little bit late, so it doesn't feel like a huge gap between that one and this one. And I also have less products to share in this video, but I still got some really good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. I would also love if you would consider subscribing if you have not already and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I usually like to talk about a fashion or clothing piece in the beginning of my videos because I know that you guys really like them and I feel like I found some really good things in that category this year but I don't actually have a specific clothing piece or item to talk about so I really want to quickly mention the brand Japna I think that's how you say it I'll have it on the screen or in the description box um, it's a brand that's sold at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and recently I picked up a few different things from that brand and they just have like really cute feminine pieces. I have some dresses. I have a top from them. I wore one of their tops in a recent perfume video on my fragrance channel. And then I did like a vlog recently with a TJ Maxx haul where I showed you guys some of the dresses that I picked up from that brand. And I'll have those videos down below if you guys want to see some of the clothes on me, but I just really like the brand. It's affordable. You can find it easily at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They have a lot of different clothes from that brand. So I would say definitely keep on the lookout for the Japna brand the next time you're at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they have some really pretty pieces. The next favorite is something that I'm wearing right now. So I have these little earrings from Ana Luisa. I talked about Ana Luisa in my last month's favorites video. They sponsored that video, which was an amazing opportunity, but my friend got me these earrings for my birthday. So I have another pair of earrings from them. I'm just obsessed with this brand, you guys. I just think their jewelry is absolutely beautiful. The quality is so good. There's just like this beautiful green gemstone with the gold little hoops. And I think that they are just so beautiful. So yeah. I have just been loving all my Ana Luisa jewelry, but this is my most recent favorite. I just love these earrings. So let's jump into some hair products next and get those out of the way. I have two hair products here. The first one is also from the vlog that I recently did where I tried some Amika products out. This is the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I haven't used this a ton yet, so I feel like it's a little bit of a cheat, but the times that I have used it, it is just so creamy and moisturizing and beautiful. And as far as I know, there isn't any protein in here, which is really nice because a lot of my masks have protein in them. And sometimes I don't want protein, I just want moisture, but I have like a protein overload or I don't need the extra protein. So this is just a really, really great one if you want a thick, nourishing, just like creamy, moisturizing mask, but you don't want the added protein because I know sometimes we just don't need that. So I just love the packaging on this as well. I just think it's so fun and I love Amika's like aesthetic and everything. I just feel like it's so vibrant and fun. The next hair product actually really surprised me. So this is the Heritage Maximum Hold Styling Gel. So I didn't think I really loved this that much when I did my Heritage Wash Day video. I did a whole video reviewing some of these Heritage products and this gel, while I didn't hate it, I also didn't love it because I felt like it kind of like did the whole flash freeze thing. If you've ever experienced that with a gel where it's like so stronghold and like, intense that it almost like makes your hair feel like frozen or stiff like as soon as you put it in. But recently I used this with more moisturizing products and I find that if your hair is really hydrated, this actually works really, really well for hold. I think part of the reason I didn't think I really loved it was because I don't think I love this with the other Heritage products. The products that I used weren't super moisturizing and also some of them had protein in them. So I kind of feel like not using protein and then using moisturizing products in combination with this gel just gives you the most intense shrinkage and like best results for hold. I've just been really impressed with the results I've gotten with this gel. Keep in mind with a product this strong hold, by like the third and fourth days, your hair can kind of start to frizz up because your curls and clumps want to stay in that like formation and like keep that definition because it's such a stronghold product. But then some of the pieces of your hair will kind of start to like pull away and create like this frizzy look. If that kind of makes sense, I hope I'm describing that correctly, but basically it has really, really, really great hold, but it doesn't always look the best on like third and fourth days because of the like 
frizzing that you can kind of get, but that's just gonna be with any really strong hold product. So I would definitely recommend this gel if you want something really intense hold for a really affordable price. I don't wanna keep rambling on about this, but I do wanna say that the scent is pretty strong on this one. Um, the Heritage products all have the same scent. It's like a warm kind of scent. To me, it smells like pretty much exactly like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry perfume. I don't have that perfume, but I have a dupe of it from like a dupe house brand. And it smells like the exact same as these products to me, but some of them are lighter scented and some of them are stronger. And this is definitely one of the stronger products. So if you don't like strong scents, I would definitely smell this first if you can, because it is a little bit of a stronger scent, but I really like it. It's like warm and delicious. So yeah, I was really, really pleasantly surprised by this. and. I'm not gonna use this all the time because I don't always want a product this intense hold, but for those times when I do, and I really want a lot of shrinkage and for my hair to almost look curlier, this is where it's at. Okay guys, I have a few different lip products here to share with you guys. So I wanna talk about those right away, get them out of the way. Um, first thing is by Young Living actually. And if you have anything to say about MLMs in the comments, I don't need to hear it because I probably agree with you for the most part but I will sometimes get things from Young Living like the oils or this. This is so worth it. There's people that I know that I can purchase this from, um, even though in general, I don't really buy from MLMs, um, but that's not a topic that we're gonna discuss in this video. Basically, this is a lip oil from Young Living and it's called their Lip Lux. It's just this clear product and it has like a light scent of essential oils, which is really, really nice and it goes on the lips like the most beautiful juicy glossy thing you have ever experienced it has that nice light scent it feels good it doesn't taste weird which i hate that's one of my favorite things about this is that if you get it in your mouth it's not nasty and i feel like the longevity is pretty good on this for a lip oil because it does have like a tackiness not like sticky but it does have this like thick texture that it really like sits on the lips for a while and it's just so glossy and creamy and beautiful and like I'm obsessed with this. But if you want something a little bit cheaper and where you don't have to purchase from in case you don't have access to that or you don't want to, this is a recent discovery that was actually a birthday gift. It is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in vanilla. And this is like a nice light vanilla scent this is so absolutely beautiful it's like it gives a very similar effect to the young living lip oil but it's a little bit more like buttery versus that is a little bit more like an oil because it is an oil um with this one you get a lot of product it's definitely not cheap by any means it's still expensive but i do think it's a little bit cheaper than the young living one and this is just absolutely stunning like i would never have thought to purchase this one if i hadn't received it as a gift because i just haven't really like looked at this one much it hasn't really caught my eye but it is just so delicious and just like the most buttery creamy smooth thing I actually have it on my lips right now over my lip product. And that's the thing I like about this packaging is even though it can be a little bit more messy than like a lip wand, you can just like dab it over top of your lip products with your finger and you're not getting it into something like a tube because I just wouldn't put this over top of a lip product because I don't wanna get anything in it. But with this, you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, this is like a glossy looking, but not sticky at all, like buttery lip bomb mask you could wear this anytime to bed or over your products during the day or whatever it's just so stunning and then the last lip product here is from bite it is their new power move soft matte lipstick so this is in the shade sugar buns and it's like a pretty kind of like mauvey uh pinkish sort of tone i'll swatch it for you guys that's what it looks like but mainly I wanna talk about this formula over the color because I've never experienced anything like this. It has like a cushiony soft matte finish and feel on the lips, but it doesn't feel drying or sink into fine lines. It doesn't fade weird. It's just so smooth. It fades smoothly. It's super pigmented. This is just such a beautiful formula and so far I've had a really good experience with it. So I definitely wanna get more shades in this uh, Bite lipstick because 
I didn't actually pick this shade out. It was sent to me. And while I do like it, it's really pretty. I just don't usually go for these mauvey tones. I would prefer like a brownie nude sort of. So I definitely wanna pick up more shades in this. I just think that it's such a beautiful formula. So I do wanna really, really quickly mention my new favorite water bottle, you guys, because I talked about this in my last vlog, but just in case you didn't see it, I'm obsessed. So this is from Stanley and this is their, what's it called? Uh, I'm not sure what this one is called, but I'll have it linked down below. It is their 30, ounce I think it is yeah it's 30 ounce water bottle and it looks like a cup because it has this like flat top lid it has a flip up straw and it has a handle like this which is absolutely amazing and then it fits in car cup holders and it's not like awkwardly tall or like it doesn't tip over it just perfectly fits in car cup holders and so I just love it in this white color I am obsessed with the functionality of this and I think the hydro flask that I had before was 32 ounce so it's two ounces less water and i do drink a lot of water but it's so worth it to me for just how amazing the design of this is i think it's absolutely genius to have this type of a handle and then have it fit in car cup holders like i just love it so much it's completely leak proof um because it does have the like completely sealed lid with the straw and everything so yeah i absolutely love this and i couldn't go without it now i don't think i'll ever go back to hydro flask to be honest and then a couple of like favorites that are staples lately for when i have my time of the month you guys this heating pad from amazon has been amazing this is actually like a shoulder heating pad i think because it has these like flaps here but i don't use it for that you can totally just use it as a regular heating pad it has settings for low and high heat and then it also has a vibrating like function which is really cool because sometimes i find that this vibrating sensation if i keep it on the low setting actually helps with my cramps like it almost numbs them not always it really depends how bad the cramps are but if i just feel them start to come on and i use the vibrating function on this it just like sort of numbs my cramps it's very interesting but i really really have been enjoying this i don't know why i've never bought a heating pad in all the years that i've been having my period what have i been doing because this just makes it so much more bearable i take some pain pills if it's really bad and then i sit on the couch with this heating pad and it just like soothes me it feels so good so i'll have this one linked down below i've really been enjoying it and then the other thing is these bath salts from NEP or NEEP or NIPE. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. This is what the packaging looks like. These are definitely not cheap bath salts and you don't get that much product, but I feel like a little goes a long way with this. It has a pretty intense lavender scent, but it's so calming and soothing to me. And I do feel like it really helps to just relax me. So I've been using these for whenever I take a bath when I have cramps because it's just very soothing. Taking a warm bath has always been my favorite thing for when I have cramps, it helps me so much. But now if I'm lazy, I'll just do the heating pad. So it has been nice to have that, but sometimes I just want a bath and I have been enjoying using these bath salts. So I missed it earlier, but I do have another makeup favorite here. This is the NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna. This is a little mini size. I got this in my little Sephora birthday gift thing. I chose the NARS uh, bronzer and it came with a little like lip balm but this laguna bronzer is just so pretty it's such a great neutrally kind of shade which i personally prefer i don't like my bronzers to be too warm toned i like a nice neutral shade although i don't want it to be gray i prefer more cool tone than warm tone if that makes sense and this one is really really nice because it's dark enough to where if you're tanner it's still going to show up on your face i feel like some of my bronzers don't show up as much when i get really tan but this one is dark enough that it will and it's also just a really nice smooth formula blends easily i don't know it's just a really good basic bronzer if you want something more affordable that's pretty similar to this the ColourPop bronzer in what's it called let me check really quickly yeah it's called private party that one is pretty similar to this and it's a lot more affordable so i would recommend that one as well but this one i've just really been loving lately because it's a bit deeper and it just does it is really really pretty i feel like the color pop one also has a bit more of like a shimmer or like satiny kind of look on the skin this isn't completely matte but it is more matte than that one so i think i might prefer this one a little bit more but it is very similar if you want something more affordable but yeah i really have been liking this 
NARS Laguna bronzer and I just love the NARS packaging. I love the soft matte feel. And then the last favorite here that I have to talk about is a fragrance, but it is a little tiny sample because this is all I have of it because this is a ridiculously expensive niche perfume. I don't actually have any niche perfumes in my collection because they are so pricey. I was sent one one time, but even though I did like it, I ended up not reaching for it as much as a lot of my other perfumes. So I ended up getting rid of it just because I really like to use all the perfumes in my collection. I don't like having ones sitting around that I don't use. But anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. So this is the Maison Francis Kirk de Jean Amiris Femme is the name of the perfume. This is such a stunning, classy, expensive smelling, which it is expensive, uh, floral scent. I don't generally go for just basic kind of florals. To me, this isn't basic though, because it, it smells more complex, but it's still just a really pretty feminine floral scent. I feel like I recognize this scent. It doesn't smell like everything else um, out there in the floral fragrance category. It's just a soft, feminine, a little bit powdery floral, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. The longevity and projection on MFK fragrances is insane. So I feel like you are getting really good performing fragrances. It's just a lot of money to spend on a perfume, but I just think that this is such a beautiful scent and I've already gone through half of this sample in one wear or one night. Like I just kept spraying it because it smelled so good. I just think this is so pretty. Like I just want this perfume. So MFK, do you wanna send this to me? I'll talk about it on my fragrance channel. Thank you so much. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for all of my favorites this month. I didn't have quite as many as I sometimes do, but I still had a decent amount more than I thought I did. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know some of your current favorites or the things you've been loving in July down in the comments. I would love to hear what you've been loving, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.